I just had the most amazing conversation with a client that turned into a client thanks to this amazing conversation. So I had to hop on and share with you these three tips for speaking that sells. We all know that there are speakers that share information, blah, 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 and there are speakers that create transformation. Well, speaking that sells is at the heart of this transformation. You have something that you offer that can help a ton of people and they need to hear about it. So if you're stuck in sales, hang around and listen up to these three tips that are just magical and so much fun. Tip number one, are you ready? I have no nice way to say this, so I'm gonna keep looking for one. But in order to make it a really good point, I'm gonna say it harshly. Shut up. Speaking is 80%. Hmm. Sales is 80%. Listening, listening, using that magical ear of yours to really pin down what is the pain that your client is, potential client that's turning into a client, is going through. What, how are they expressing it? What are they saying? Listen, hear what they're saying. Pay attention to their words. Connect with their feelings, allow them the space, hold that space. And that's hard for us speakers because we love talking, but I've heard it said by mentors and it's so, so, so true. Most of the time we talk ourselves out of the sale by talking way too much. Tip number two, my absolute favorite, and you have to do this, stories. Share stories, success stories about past clients, current clients, your own stories. They allow the potential client to connect with, hmm, that was possible for Joan, so therefore it's possible for me. They resonate with it. They can feel and see themselves in a new situation and open up to new possibilities that they may be stuck, not able to see in the current moment. Because let's face it, you know, we've heard a lot of people telling us and promising us how they can help us with many things. But if we don't know them, we don't trust them yet. So we're not going to be all jumping in to buy into whatever they're saying until we get to trust them. But listening to a story is different. When we hear a story of a client or their personal story, we connect in a very deep way. And we start to see ourselves in that picture. We start to paint a new picture of what is possible. And that is the most fun. I hear clients all the time telling me that they're super nervous, as I was speaking in public, terrified of it. This makes speaking in public so much easier because you're sharing stories, whether they may be yours or your past clients. They're easy to remember, and you can really milk them by sharing the details and allowing the potential client to dive into that space, which leads me, well, that's my absolute favorite, tip number two, definitely my favorite, have fun with it, you gotta use it, and let me know, if you do, how it works for you, because I am very curious to know. But that leads me to tip number three, which is allowing the space for connecting with the potential client's desire, right? Visualizing. That's the power of manifesting. 
tapping into that space where you can begin to imagine, visualize what is possible for you. How do we do this? With really creative questions. So practice the art of open-ended, empowering questions that help the potential client dive into that space of what is possible for you? How will your life change? What will you feel? What will you see? What smells will you smell? How, what will you be surrounded with? Let them dive into that experience. Allow that space of connection so they can really feel it, taste it, and actually cannot wait to start working with you so they can get there. Which reminds me, in step one, tip one, where I said, you've got to listen more than you speak. It's not going to be a mute conversation, right? <laughs> and only them speaking and you're like, <laughs> no. What do you do? Again, it's back to the questions. It's the art of the questions so that they can dive in and connect in that space with what they want, with their current struggles, and guess what? With the possibility that you can help them get there. If you build that excitement and allow them to build that excitement themselves, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer if it's a good fit and the chemistry is there and you have the possibility of helping them solve a pain or a struggle they're having right now to get to where they want to be. It's a no-brainer. And it gets to a point where nothing is an issue. The investment is not even part of the conversation. It's just amazing when you practice the art of speaking that sells and truly connect from that space of service, holding that space for the client to really connect with what they want deeply. The sale is a no brainer. You have a solution to their problem. You can help them. And if you're 100% convinced and standing in your power, all this just flows naturally. Practice the tips. Let me know how they go. I am very curious to hear. And I see you in your success. Namaste.